Hey, hi. This is Mr. Sick Coder. Today, we will look at a Google Kickstart 2020 Round C Problem 3. Name it Perfect Sabere. Let's look at the question first and then we'll dive into the solution or the approach. Here, uh, crystal ball has an array of n possible n possibly negative integers the height integer in his array is a of 5 a contiguous non empty subarray of this array is perfect if its total sum is perfect square uh, the perfect square is a number that is a product of non negative integer with itself for example uh, first five perfect squares are 0 1 and uh, 4 which can be written as a 2 square 9 and which can be written as 3 square 16 which can be written as 4 square so we need to count how many such perfect subarrays exist in the given array so the two subarrays are different if they start or end at different indices in the array even if subarray contains the same value in the same order it doesn't matter until and unless their their indices are same so let's look at a solution now so oh, before looking at solution i would like to explain you the approach by taking an example now oh, let's take uh, this second example here so what we do is we uh, so at ev so we'll uh, process one by one element and as you go from uh, left to right what we do is we'll keep track of uh, the prefix sum that we are being calculated so when when i'm at index uh, 0 i'll have a prefix sum of 30 when i when i am at index of 1 i will have a total sum of this array which is called a prefix sum till the till that point from starting it's a 60 i'll keep track of that when I'm at uh, next 3, I will keep track of that prefix sum. Uh, similarly, I'll keep track of for uh, the prefix sum until I, um, till I process it. Okay. So, when... So, while processing, what we do is, when you are, if you are at specific index, then we'll take uh, every perfect square from minimum to the maximum possible and we'll subtract from the current prefix sum so let's say the current prefix sum is this then uh, we'll subtract 0 first which will include the total prefix sum then we'll subtract 1 similarly uh, like that we'll increment so if, if you take our if you take the perfect square of 9 that is 3 into 3 so the remaining perfect square the remaining uh, sum will be this so let's let's see if the current uh, perfect square sum that you are considering is 9 so this so what you from the prefix sum if you remove this then what you left is this sum right so if you what you do is you will check whether this prefix sum exists in our processor list till now okay till now it's in sub uh, instead of checking in all those things you'll check in the, these two because these two because you will we have processed this before reaching this position so this is our approach so let's uh, look at the code so we'll read the n and uh, so i'm storing the maximum possible negative sum and maximum possible positive sum i'll explain why i'm storing this and uh, i'll explain why the size is like this and uh, why i'm considering the base i'll explain you later so let's look at this so to, in order to keep track of the running sum prefix sum we will store in the prefix sum variable uh, and this is for storing all the prefix sum till this point uh, so uh, the count of this prefix sum okay so we'll have uh, from we'll uh, start from minimum possible uh, perfect square which is zero to increment this to uh, increment this value so one into one then two into two then three into three like that and we'll try to subtract from the prefix sum current prefix sum i'll check 
whether this prefixum already exists if it exists we'll add the account initially we are initializing with this uh, possible prefixums with zero so and we'll increment this so after so when you when you do it in this way you are actually getting this sub array as perfect square right because you're already subtracting the the actual perfect square from the prefix someone checking whether there exists some other sub array so if that sub array exists you can justify that this is sub array with perfect square exist okay that's what uh, you are doing here uh, so this is the logic and uh, if you use the an order map in order to store the prefix sum and uh, not map this prefix sum to the count it, it gives you tle so what we do is so the maximum possible negative sum is uh, this we have calculated that we have calculated so whatever that you, you can store so the given uh, range of this elements if you look at it this is minus 100 to plus 100 so you can store this in an array itself so i use it vector in c plus plus you can use uh, just an array also so the maximum possible uh, sum the whatever sub array sum can't exist the can't exceed this next sum plus positive sum plus one okay so why we are using this base uh, sum as negative sum as base sum because uh, uh, so the when you occur when when you reach some uh, sub array which is all negative then the maximum possible sum that you can reach is uh, in that case will be minus negative sum right so that won't exceed this uh, since you're storing in an array the indices should be in from zero to some positive value so but if you are uh, passing the negative value the, it will give an error okay so the indices should be positive so in order to make the indices positive we will use this an exam as a base and uh, since we are using this base uh, we need to count it right so for that purpose we are uh, incrementing this prefix sum count and then uh, for every uh, for every uh, for every uh, axis of this prefix sum we'll add this base value and for every incrementing or updating this uh, prefix sum we'll uh, at this base value okay so that's it this is the solution and thank you so much for watching please uh, like share this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon in order to receive the notifications whenever I have uploaded the video thank you thank you so much